Before we get to a weather report, the Inyo National Forest has been aggressively suppressing and monitoring uh, several natural lightning caused wildfires over the past week or so. Things have settled down, no new activity report on the Kelty and Cow fires. Now, however, fire activity increasing on the Springs Fire, firefighters strengthening containment lines, cutting hazardous trees and installing fire hose and portable water tanks around the fire will reduce the, ri will reduce the risk of some associated with responding to the wildland fires. Now, the lightning caused Pond Lily Fire, this is west of Devil's Post Pile and Mammoth Lakes, that has been suppressed due to its proximity to the John Muir Trail. 90% contained as of last report, eight acres in size. Incident commander anticipates releasing the smoke jumpers assigned to that fire today. Remaining resources will haul, will back haul hose and suppression supplies Friday. All resources released at the end of the shift on Friday. Fire will be put in patrol status at that time. That will be the last update on that fire. The lightning caused Springs fire located near Pilot Springs, south of Highway 120 East and east of the Moto Craters. Last report, uh, acre and a half, firefighters still conducting tactical firing and burnout operations. Anticipate about 25 to 30 acres of growth today. The United States Forest Service says this critical operation, keeping the fire from spreading east into much more dense and continuous vegetation and fuels and allow for a strong anchor point in anticipation of the fire's continued growth. We have posted that full press release on sierrawave.net. All right, let's go to the weather map. Sierra Wave Media forecaster Dennis Mattinson notes mid-level ridging expanding westward over the Four Corners area as it does this weekend will have a twofold effect. Temperatures will be on the increase and moisture from a southerly flow will increase. DMAT says that'll bring on enough instability for a possible chance of thunderstorms Sunday or Monday. Low tonight into tomorrow morning for Mammoth, 43 degrees. Bishop and the Owens Valley, 56 degrees. Mammoth, June, Mono County on Friday. We are looking at sunny skies with a southwest wind. 10 to 15 miles an hour, 80 the expected high in Mammoth. Overnight lows in the lower 40s. Uh, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, pretty much the same. Partly cloudy, mostly sunny. Southwest winds kicking up 10 to 15 miles an hour, 81 the high in the town of Mammoth Lakes. Overnight lows in the mid 40s or so. Bishop and the Owens Valley on Friday. Sunny skies, a south wind, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Uh, 98 the high in Bishop, overnight lows of about 57 degrees. And again, mostly the same forecast for Saturday and Sunday. Partly cloudy, mostly sunny, 99 the high in Bishop, overnight lows around the 60 degree range. So let's be careful out there as we just talked about all the wildfires and whatnot. Uh, it's still brittle, so everybody use uh, the best judgment they can. And let's keep our uh, Eastern Sierra wildfire free. Uh, before we go, I want to show you a picture here of uh, Bishop uh, Youth Football. There's a fundraiser coming up, Bishop Country Club this Saturday, Bishop Youth Football and Cheer Golf Tournament. Uh, fun food and prizes, sure, 9 o'clock shotgun start, golf cart, lunch, donation to the Bishop Youth Football League and cheer. You're going to have a good time out there. Help out the kids, 760-873-5828. More information at Bishop Country Club. That's wrapping up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station all 92.5 and 96.5. Stream it on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody.